It's time now for your Sunday money and people use a bank safety deposit box to store valuable papers, small assets, but is the box as the name says, really safe. And are there different alternatives? Paul Fain, president of Asset Planning Corporation, joins us to look at your Sunday money's question today. So if people aren't familiar with a safety deposit box or a safe deposit box, yeah. what are some of the items that you might want to store in well, one? Like things you mentioned, uh, wills, trust, marriage certificate, uh, could be jewelry that you don't wear okay. often, but it's very valuable. People have put precious coins, bullion, so documents, things of physical assets of, of great value. And how are these boxes, I guess, considered safe? I always kind of thought of it as they're in this, uh, oh, I don't know if it's out of steel, but if your yeah. house were to be on fire, they would they would survive or the bank caught yeah, on fire. Yeah. Well, that's one <laughs> it of wouldn't the, be at your home. That's one of the primary t uh, two safeties, Leslie. One is the they're, they're, they're in a physical vault, yeah. you know, a physical vault. The other is that the access measures require two keys, one from the bank and one from the customer. So mm. there's several ways that, 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 that the, uh, the boxes are safe. Special identification processes. Yeah. So looking back in history, how have they proven to be safe over time? You know, time? this is interesting. In the last five years, 44 robberies have okay. focused on safe deposit boxes. So there is still some bandits wearing masks uh, robbing banks. Um, probably more distressing to, to our viewers is bank errors, Ugh. where they've moved a box, misplaced a box, drilled into a box, uh, turned it into lost property because it hasn't been opened in years and years. So uh, it's hard to believe, but that actually happens. So if you have a safe deposit box, you need to at least annually go access it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't want to do a safety deposit box, it still seems like a statistic wise, it still could be a good option if it's something you're looking for. Absolutely. What's an alternative? Yeah, I like what you just said. Safe deposit boxes played a very important role. Uh, it can play a very important role in our lives. If you're looking for alternatives, you know, consider uh, a really high quality uh, home safe. Now, as our you know, dear friends in Gatlinburg found out, there's a certain temperature at which everything's going to be destroyed yes. or melted. Uh, but uh, barring that out, a home safe could be a possibility. Consider scanning important documents and putting them in a secure online vault. Mm -hmm. um, and it's then, more popular. you know, Leslie, regardless of where you store precious valuables, particularly things like, you know, coins and jewelry and things like that, make sure you get it insured because your, like your home policy may not provide enough coverage inside that homeowner's policy to cover, say, a, a, a precious stone or something like that. And maybe, too, I guess, make sure somebody, another family member knows about the key in case there is a death or you, you exchange want, of property. Uh, with, a, with a safe deposit box, you want to add one or two people to have access to the box. Yeah, just have that in mind. Let's talk about our fast market fact today. Paul, what are we looking at? Well, we had a high point, literally, uh, in the stock market. Went over the 28,000 mark for the first time. Yay. Um, <laughs> now, there's still a lot going on up and down in, in the economy. Uh, October, U.S. industrial production declined. Retail sales rebounded. You know, there, there's more murmuring now of a trade war truce, which is maybe giving a little wind in the sale of the market. Uh, and, you know, it appears at this point that investors aren't paying a whole lot of attention to the, the whole I impeachment process. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Yeah. Well, Paul, thank you. We appreciate it. Both those are really great things to talk about today. If you have a question for Paul, where can we send those to you? Yeah, send it to me at paul at assetplanningcorp.com. Awesome. We always appreciate it.